Hey, what's going on guys? Lethal Flux here, and um, it's been a while guys. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, <clears throat> I think going on um, about three weeks now. I haven't made a video. Um, the reason being, I've been working a lot um, over at Nike World Headquarters and doing construction and a lot of stuff. Just got to make money, pay the rent, you know, pay the bills. Um, so yeah, I thought I would... Um, I've still been going to locals, um, so I thought I'd update you guys on that. I did get... Uh, the week of regionals, I did get first place at Rainy Day Locals uh, with Pure Evil Swarms. Um, my build has changed since the Dino version, and I got first place with it, and it worked really nicely. Um, everyone was at regionals, so a lot of the good players were at regionals, but there were still some very good players at that, um, the locals that I would expect to be at regionals. Um, with that being said, the following week after that, my buddy Will, um, I let him use my deck. And he ended up getting first place with my Constellar deck, which is the deck I'm going to be profiling right now. Um, I know you guys like the zombie decks, so um, the Kaya Suler, my good friend, um, Cody Rivas, um, known on the Yugi Tubing channel as the Kaya Suler, um, always plays zombies. He's always liked zombies. He's never changed, really. Um, and I, I think that's awesome because zombies don't have a lot of, you know, uh, rep. And I think that him repping zombies during locals and... Uh, Regionals is really awesome. Um, maybe they'll come back. Maybe they'll make more support, you know, for zombies in the uh, Shadow Spectre and uh, <clears throat> other sets. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update and tell you guys why I wasn't making um, a lot of videos. And I am going to be giving you the first place Constellar deck profile right now. After that uh, is going to be a zombie deck. And then later on I will show you the first place Evil Swarm deck profile. Um, the pure build, not the dino build that I ran, which is very awesome and uh, pretty... A little different from um, some builds, but it works very nicely, and, uh, yeah. So let's get into the Constellar deck profile, guys. So, of course, you gotta run three Constellar Pollocks. He is, um, one of the main cards in the deck. You can't really run... Well, you can run the deck if you don't have him, but it's kind of stupid not to. I mean, <laughs> he gains you an additional normal summon when he's summoned, and if they Veiler him, you still get to summon. So they wasted a Veiler on this... Unless they're just trying to toss a, a light in the grave, they can still they can still Veiler, but you still get the effect. And after that, you got his best friend, Constellar Kaus, or Kaus, however you want to say it. Oh, Kaus in the OCG. Um, searchable with Tanky. You do run Tanky in this deck. He's searchable with Tanky because he's a Beast Warrior. 1800, which is a uh, pretty good beat stick. Um, with Tanky, he's 19. Um, ram into Thunder King and stuff. Still can't get over that vanilla of Evil Swarms, though. Um, so, whatever, but... Uh, main card in the deck to make Pleiades, you can change um, your Constellar monsters, you can increase them or decrease them um, by one, up to twice per turn, so that is a really awesome card, you guys, um, definitely need this in the deck, because the main play you go is you summon your Pollux, you use Pollux's effects to summon Kaos, and then you um, activate the effect of Kaos twice, and you make him level 5 and you proceed to um, be badass with your Constellar star chart monsters. So, yeah. And a new card that just came out in Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, you guys probably already know, is Constellar Sombre. Um, this card is so broken. It's so good. Like, opening with these three cards, opening hand is like, you pretty much win. It doesn't matter what you're playing against. Like, Evil Swarm, Dragons, you just bounce everything. And after you use Pleiades, you overlay for M7. Summon this and make another Pleiades or whatever you want. It's... It's really awesome, this card is good. If you don't know the effect, you banish one Constellar to add a Constellar to your hand. So you're going to want to banish your dead Sheratins, or maybe your Constellar Pollux that you used for Pleiades, to grab Kaos. And after that, guys, you get an additional Normal Summon with um, Constellar Sombra. And an additional Normal Summon for um, Constellar Monsters, of course. Um, if it was just an, an additional Normal Summon, that'd be pretty broken. But um, So you're going to want to banish Pollux or whatever monster to grab Kaos. And then summon Kaos, and then you do Kaos to go to 5, or you can just, you know, overlay for your 4s, make an Omega or something. So that's it for the um, the main monsters, the ones you want to run 3 of. Some of the next monsters I'm going to show you guys are debatable. I know a few people that don't run the next card I'm about to show you, and that is Constellar Algaide. I think this card is good. It is a Veiler Magnet. It does get Veilered, which kind of sucks, but when it does go off, it's really good because you can summon your Pollux... Summon this, and then summon Kaos. Make this and um, Pollux level 5. Overlay with that, keep your tanky on the field. Have a Pallades and a 19 beater. 
um, from Kaos uh, on the field, which is awesome. I mean, I, it, it does get Valor a lot, and it sucks when it does. But in decks that run heavy hand traps like dragons, I'll usually side this out because I hate when it gets Valor. It's so annoying. Um, this card, I feel like, is needed. Um, Sheraton is definitely needed. It's like the Stratus of the deck with 1,900 defense. <laughs> I mean, it sucks when it when you just... It usually gets the shit beat out of it and ran over a lot, <laughs> but that's okay. You get to your monsters. He, um, he tutors the deck very nicely. Usually, uh, you get Sombre, which is awesome. I mean, being able to just search for Sombre, Sombre mid-game, if you top deck this guy and you search Sombre mid-game... <laughs> Next, uh, and then turn after that. If you're still alive and you summon Sombra, you, it's you can come back. You can come back really good. So that's it for the doubles of the monsters. And for the, I run one Sia. This card's really good because he copies levels. You can special summon him if uh, you control no monsters and your opponent does control a monster, and he can copy levels of Constellers. So you can change Chaos to level six if you have a Chaos. Well, you can, you can. Uh, Special this, change Kaos to level 6, and then copy level 6 to make like an M7, or you can do level 5s or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. It's pretty good. I like Constellar, so yeah, I might run two of him over uh, some other traps in the uh, the deck right now. That's it for the Constellar monsters. For the Rogue monsters, what I like to call them, I run Bear. I run two Fire Fist Bear, or Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear, whatever. This card's so broken in this deck because if you've already searched for your Kaos's, or you've opened with them, you can go ahead and search for bear. Like, <laughs> your, your tankies will never be dead. And if you do this and you attack directly and inflict damage, you activate your tanky and you can grab a Kaos. Like, if this card's so broken in this deck. You can pop stuff, you, like your dead tankies, and you can just... This card is just too good. It's, it's very... It's, it's, it's just awesome. Sit for the doubles of the rogue monsters. And I tech one um, Photon Thrasher. Um, I like it because it's a light and you can special summon it, and it's good when you want to make Omega or... Um, other stuff like that <laughs> but other than that it's all right i mean you can special summon it and it's 2100 it's pretty cool i like the tech making omega is really awesome especially when your opponent runs heavy back row for the hand traps <coughs> uh, excuse me one honest and one valor it's n no no explanation here everything's light moving on to the spells i run triple tanky Self-explanatory, you can pop monsters. You can pop it um, with bear to pop a monster. Searches Kaos, searches bear. Very awesome. Um, <clears throat> I like to run MST because this deck says no to back row. You can just, like, your your opponent cannot run back row if they're playing this deck because it, it'll just get bounced or destroyed or uh, whatever. But I do side them out against dragons because dragons don't run back row. Or I'll, I'll maybe keep two in for the, the side game. <laughs> But yeah, than that. And on top of that, I run two lands. This card's really awesome in this deck because when they try to bottomless or torrential, you land whichever monster you want. And uh, if you have a reborn, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, if they try to bottomless your Pollux, when you summon him, you just lance it, summon your cows, get your Pleiades, and then go off from there. Yep. And for the one ofs, I run. Eh, sorry, guys. I run one Star Cradle. Um. Two is too much. Three just destroys your deck. It sucks. But the card's all right. It's good um, late game when you want to make play and bounce something. M early game, it sucks. Mid game, it's all right. Um, I find it sometimes it's a, it's a lifesaver. Other times it's like, damn it, why do I have this card right now? But I like getting it. It's really good. It's cool. The only thing is you can't conduct your battle phase to turn you activated. But other than that, it's fine. I run one Rhoda. This searches out Thrasher and Pollux. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. And one Heavy Storm and one Monster Report. I don't run Dark Hole because I like to maintain um, board presence. I like to have field presence in um, field presence on the field. <laughs> but yeah, I don't run Dark Hole. I don't think it's needed in this deck because you can just bounce stuff. And yeah, I don't, I don't think I should run Heavy Storm to be honest either, but I don't know. I just like saying no to back row with this deck because at my locals, people do run a lot of back row still. And now I'm going to show you the back row. I run 2D Prison, but I this is this is the build that got first place. It did use 2D Prison. But I am going to switch this out for Compulse, because that's just amazing in this deck. And you you just Compulse everything. <laughs> With Pleiades and M7 and Compulse, it's just ridiculous. I love this card. I mean, I love Compulse, but I'm going to switch them out. I love D Prison. It's a good card, but I'm going to switch them out for Compulses. 
I think that's the number one trap of this format, to be honest. I'll make a video on that later. Two Phoenix Chain, self-explanatory, pretty good. Good against Fire Fists when they uh, pay cost for a Bear's Effect. Two Bottomless, sided out against Dragons, self-explanatory. One Mirror Force, that's really good against Dragons, I think. I mean, it's alright, I guess, but I like Mirror Force. It's a good card. And it's a secret, so it's super shiny and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Psalm Duo. Self-explanatory. I'm a little upset that it's at, that Psalm Warren got hit, but that was a while ago. So whatever. It's healthy for the game, but Konami was like, eh, we want dragons to do really, really good, so we're just gonna, you know, hit warning to one for some reason. <laughs> for the extra deck, which is the most fun part of the deck, two Constellar M7. Um, really awesome. I love M7 because he's like, uh, just overlay it with your other Constellars. Mainly with this guy, Constellar Pallades. Two is enough, don't run three. Three is a lot. People like, oh, people say, oh, I always need three. I always need three. You don't need three. You really don't need three. <laughs> um, two is fine. Two is perfect. Three is, you're going to wish you had something else when you have three. You're going to wish you had other things. So, yeah. After that, two Constellar Omega. This card's really good if your opponent plays a lot of back row. Other than that, I usually go into this more, Precept. Because it gets over everything. This thing is so huge. During And it can target other monsters, your other Constellar monsters too. So during a damage step, you detach one to have your mon your Constellar monster that you target gain a thousand during the damage step, which is crazy. So you have a 3700 F7. And if you honest that, you can do that for game. It's ridiculous. But it's, it's, it's a little crazy. <laughs> That's it for the Constellar monsters. For the other cards, I run. This is an interesting tech. I really like this card, though. It came out in Lauren Tech on Galaxy. It's a common. It is called Shark Fortress. This card is so good in combination with all the other cards in my deck and Tyrus, because I can make this so easily because it's a rank 5 and it's generic. So I make this. I make Tyrus. Use the effect to target Tyrus. Tar Tyrus attacks twice and pops two cards during the end phase. It's just amazing. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good combo. Run Volcosaurus. That's it for the generic rank 5s. And for the rank 5s, because they're in Volk, of course, you gotta run the Gaia Charger. And for when your Shark Fortress is out of material, or your Tyrus is out of material, you just make Gaia Charger and fuck shit up. Really good card. Sarge Pilot Dynamo, self-explanatory, everything's light. Um, I, I run Utopia, I'm gonna take it out for an Abyss Dweller. Don't hate me, guys. I know, Utopia got another reprint in the structure deck as a super, yay! But I am going to um, take this out for Abyss Dweller, because Abyss Dweller is more, <laughs> the better meta choice by far. Um, so yeah. And you're on the one cowboy. I love cowboy. Just look at him. Pew pew. Awesome. So guys, that was the first place deck profile. Um, pretty awesome deck. I really like the Constellar deck. I like the theme that it's based around the, uh, the star charts and everything, all the... Uh, the stars and everything. I'm, I'm still having that map made. <laughs> Progress is uh, good. But yeah. Really awesome deck. It's so fun to build. If you want to get away from the meta for a while, just play one of these rogue decks and um, just have some fun, you guys. That's what the game is usually about. A lot of people just get mad and rage. It Just have fun. That's, that's the only message I have to say. Other than that, guys, this has been Lethal Flux, and uh, peace out.